This is an instructional video on airway evaluation setup for a child with airway obstruction. Objectives are as follows. The following diagram explains the room layout for the procedure. It is important to note that the operating room table begins with the head towards anesthesia, but then rotates 90 degrees counterclockwise so that the head is with the otolaryngologist. The light box or Mayo stand is to the left side of the otolaryngologist and contains the following equipment. Note that if you do not have a Parsons laryngoscope, a Miller laryngoscope from anesthesia will suffice. The Mayo stand set up with the Miller laryngoscope is shown here. The light box with the Parsons laryngoscope set up is shown here. A side port adapter can be constructed with the following equipment as shown in this short video. The purpose of the side port is to allow for passive oxygenation while suspended in laryngoscopy. If you are not using a Parsons laryngoscope, you can simply take a endotracheal tube and attach it to the anesthesia circuit and place it along the side of your Miller laryngoscope. It will do the same thing. It's important to test all equipment prior to the patient entering the room. This includes functioning of the light box, the video tower, and the ventilating bronchoscope. Assembly of the Parsons laryngoscope and testing is shown in this video. For patients without teeth, you can fold alcohol pads as follows that can mold nicely along the upper jaw to allow for padding for your laryngoscope. The Mayo stand on the right side of the otolaryngologist contains the following equipment. They are laid out in this orientation for easy use. On the Mayo stand, you will notice a ventilating bronchoscope. It's important to select the right size for the patient's age and one size smaller in case the airway is smaller than you anticipate for age. This airway reference card shows normal sizes for pediatric airways based on age with associated tracheostomy tubes, bronchoscopes, and laryngoscopes for each age. In this example, a two-year-old patient would use a 3.7 bronchoscope and either a 9 or 11 Parsons laryngoscope. Again, a Miller laryngoscope can be used in place of a Parsons laryngoscope. The ventilating bronchoscope has these attachments. The following video explains how to put the ventilating bronchoscope together appropriately.
It should be noted that a disposable flexible suction catheter, either a four French or six French in size should be available in case suctioning of the trachea or bronchi is necessary during bronchoscopy. In case of emergency, such as laryngospasm and the inability to ventilate a patient, a percutaneous transtracheal needle insufflation device can be created with the following materials. The video shows how to assemble these to have them ready on the back table in case of such emergency. When evaluating older patients that have airway obstruction and concerns for either subglottic or tracheal stenosis, a modified endotracheal tube is going to be necessary to have on hand. This is an important concept to realize because endotracheal tubes that are narrow in diameter are typically shorter in length. Therefore, a modified endotracheal tube needs to be created to be narrow yet long. The video shows how to create one to have on the back table in case it is necessary during evaluation. During the airway evaluation, you must size the airway to make sure that it is appropriate for the age of the patient. In order to do this, Using an airway card that has the normal values for different size endotracheal tubes is handy. There is a formula for determining the appropriate size endotracheal tube for an age of a patient. This formula then can be used to pick the correct endotracheal tube and size the airway. The Cotton-Meyer classification then can be determined from these measurements. The mobile airway card app is available for both Apple and Android devices and is an application that allows you to compute this classification using similar information just on a mobile phone based app. It's been developed by the University of Cincinnati Children's Hospital. Finally, a mustard table is attached to the bed frame for suspension of the laryngoscope. If a mustard table is not available, a separate mayo stand can be used instead. This concludes this video segment on airway evaluation.